G'day, well today I'm going to repurpose this old hammerhead. It's an old, um, I think it's like a, it might be two and a half, three pound maybe. Um, I'm going to repurpose it into a rounding hammer, a bit more of a traditional style. Um, we'll see how we go. Oh man, massive arm pump, swinging that hammer. Oh, just locked up, solid. <laughs> All right, so I don't have all the fancy tools. So I'll be using the back end of a pair of tongs for the uh, shaping of the head. You know what I love the most about this? It's um, the smell. You can't beat it. The smell of coal. The coal burning. It's just awesome. It just makes it really cool. Biggest problem is getting the stuff. So if there's anyone in Sydney that knows where to get coal at the right price, please send me a message because um, I'm running out and, man, it seems to be really expensive out there. So, um, yeah, if someone knows, man, hit me up because uh, I need some more. Cheers. All right, so there you go. She's, um, I just dressed her up on the ends. We'll, um, we've just got the fire getting nice and hot now, the forge, and I'll um, harden it now. But yeah, it looks all right from what it was. First go, I'm pretty happy. Let's get it nice and hard. So I just checked it, it's no longer magnetic, so we can quench it, try and get it, ready for the show. Alright, it's still a bit warm, but 
but um, hopefully nice and hard I will get uh, file onto it and we'll see well, I can tell it's hard. but we'll get the file onto there if I can find it it's hard to do this with one hand hang on all right she's in the vice it's hard that's awesome cool dress her up make it look pretty and then I'm gonna stick it in my oven and temper it and it'll be ready to whackety whack whack all right so I've dressed up a nice Aussie spotted gum handle and um, clean the head up and the wheel so she's ready to go in the oven now and I can chuck the handle on it I'm pretty happy how that came out considering what it was nice to repurpose old stuff especially when you don't have the tools to make fancy stuff I think I did alright so I'd love to have a power hammer but I don't but um, yeah anyway let's go and stick this in the oven all right so the deal is 200 Celsius for two hours so we've got it fired up I'm sorry about the lighting but um, chuck it in there close it up and um, we're back in a flash Two hours, how fast was that? Tempered, ready to go on the handle. I'm just gonna have a play with the handle and we'll chuck her on. So the question I asked myself, do I want a burnt finish or a plain finish on the handle? It's a gum tree, it's gotta be burnt. That's pretty, very pretty. Well, we'll whack it on the head. All right, so I've seen this done, and I have actually tried it before, but um, knock a hammer head on. Hit it that way. Not supported. And on she goes. Done. Let's stick a wedge in it. That head's not going anywhere. I'm gagging to try this out. Well, it was too dark to film, but I did knock up a couple of bottle openers real quick with the new hammer. Um, it feels more like a three pound, I'd reckon. So she's a nice weighty hammer, nicely balanced. Um, but yeah, something about these, a friend of mine said to me the other day that if you wire brush the metal when it's hot with a brass um, wire brush, it leaves a gold effect, like a little bit of gold plating kind of deal. So. It's probably hard to see the gold, but if you compare it to the one on the right, which has just been treated with oil, compared to the other one, which has also been treated with oil, but was brushed with a brass brush, you can tell the difference. It's really nice effect, actually. It's kind of like a tempering colour. But, um, yeah, I'll be doing more of that. It's pretty cool. But I really enjoyed making that hammer today, and I um, hope that inspires some of you guys to make your own stuff. It was good. It was really good. Anyway... Stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Be good to your mates, and um, I'll catch you next time. All right, so I've seen this done, and I actually have actually.